I'm going to talk about one of the best things about homesteading and having your own acreage, and that is storage space. So one of my favorite things I've learned about our homesteading adventure is we have lots and lots of storage. Bear in mind that some of the storage isn't very good. Elements and the animals can get into your stuff. Critical here, you're going to need some Rubbermaid bins. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Violet and my husband Phil and I are both teachers. I am currently six months pregnant and I've just finished my first year teaching grade one. I learned I was going to have to change classrooms, which would normally pose a problem in terms of storage because a classroom has a lot of stuff in it. However, we are now on an acreage and we have lots of buildings. Let me show you some of our storage options. Chickens! I've got barn. You can see we need to replace the door up top. Well house. That seals pretty well, but it is actually running our well. That is not completely covered. That's an animal shelter. We'll probably put some goats in there at some point, or a cow. That is lacking in structural integrity. So I'm gonna show you what we ended up using. We've got this kind of greenhouse thing here. Again, lots of problems with structural integrity. That has a very solid door in the garage. Could put vehicles in there. Right now we're not. Tractor lives in there sometimes. Got these two old buildings here. Again, lots and lots of holes. And they're kind of rickety. But let me show you where I put my teaching kit. Phil was able to keep his classroom this year, so he kept his stuff in his room. As I'm switching grades and switching rooms, I brought all my grade one stuff here. Got this awesome solution. The bend a nail, open the door. This is not totally sealed. However, as long as I have sealed bins or sealed plastic bags, works quite well. Still need a couple more bins. So when Phil and I identified this shed as the best fit for storing my teacher supplies, we moved it because it was in front of where we're going to be moving the fence line. So I'll show you. I actually took a video of him using his tractor and pushing it around. It's kind of fun.
you like this video, let me know in the comment below. I'd love to see your tractoring videos, any videos on your homestead or acreage, and how you mix maybe your full-time job and your homesteading dreams. Right now as teachers, this is the best time of year for us, for our homestead, because we're able to do a lot of work and make some good progress. But you know, I'd love to know how other people balance their full-time jobs, their children, their families. It is a great adventure. Have yourself a wonderful day. Please give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more content like this. Bye-bye.